Right, okay, here, here I am now with my T5. It's a 5.1 Caravelle, and what it is, I want to like, move my uh, coy around, so I'm getting a vat to go in it. Um, for me, I need to make sure I've got my, my wheel arches. So on, on my van here, you can see that my wheels are at the back, so I want to try and get the weight over these. So what I've asked is uh, Dave from Showcoy, he's going to just have a measure up for me while we're on camera. So Dave, here we are. So this is Dave from Showcoy. Yeah, he does all your zippy vats, so give him a shout. Finally on... got everything designed now. That's um, it. And we're basically doing a few trials um, and obviously Joe's kindly lent us his van. So what, what, we look, what, what sort of measurements are we looking at, Dave? Well, good thing is with my frame, it's really sturdy and strong, so there's no movement. So obviously what the ones that we've done before, we found that there's not much movement, but you've got to take the measurement across for the first bit. So we're talking wheel arch. Yeah, so if you've got so, a van, you need the wheel arch, inside the wheel arch, don't you? The other thing you? you've got to be careful is as you come down the sort of van, yeah. you can see it like it comes in. So if you measure here, yeah. it's like four foot, but as you get in here, obviously it'll be a bit tight. So, oh, okay. come so in we're going to come in a little bit from that and we're looking for external dimension. So, I mean, it, on this bit, probably we'd look at something like 1.1 1 .1, wouldn't we but, yeah yeah and that's an external dimension so right, okay. so from the feet on the frame it's not going to be where the top of the frame is because it's where the, the outer part got, yeah, a little disc on, on it like. so so we've got 1100 millimeters wide yep now again like you said we again we don't really want to be bashing against all this or bits of that's right that, like come up and stick up so again we're gonna look that and then are you taking any little the ancillary products with there you there might or... be but obviously whatever the squareness whatever the squareness is roughly yeah yeah so i mean like it so in this sort of van you could you could go and other thing to watch out is like little recesses like yeah. this where your feet might sit on it right and okay obviously yeah it'll get a bit so really you'd want it planted on this part here so do you so know if... do you know like for me dave i think like bearing in mind the weight of the the yeah. wheel is there if I came back too far in this sort of van, it might be a bit of a worry to I me. Agree. So yeah. obviously, if I come to sort of like there. So if we said, so again, giving a bit of room on that. Yeah. So so we don't want any more than sort of. Probably, yeah, uh, I would 800. say. Yeah, I'll probably say, yeah, or for, yeah, or 30, 33 maybe. 33, so, so that's like eight, yeah. 840. I'm sorry everybody, I'm in inches, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not modern. Inch, I'm right, I'm right <laughs> down 33 inch for you. So, and then the other thing we've got to consider is just height. I yeah, mean, I mean, yeah, what I said to, what I was saying to Dave, and I think Dave, Dave knows as well, is that it's all right thinking oh, I'll, have it, I'll have it up here or whatever, getting more in there, but the trouble is, you need to be able to get your fish out when you've got the sock. So That's to me, be. I would say probably that sort of height. Sounds perfect, yep, 800. So 32 inch for, I mean, generally. Yeah, I would, say seven, I would say Absolute 700, 700. But yeah. I think 700 is a better. 700. Um, in the height, yeah. Because you weight your fish as well when you lift it over. It's, it's, it's yeah, not easy, it's yeah, easy. You're, trying to, you're trying to get them in, but with 700, you've got quite a bit of a, what sort of space I got above that now then, from that 700? Yeah, good. 500 mil. Yeah, five. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that'd be okay. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant, yeah. I mean, even if it, it, could, it can. I think it depends on how, how many fish you're going to take, doesn't it, I suppose? Yeah. What's that? I mean, that's like six, 650, 700. Yeah, I think, yeah, to me, I think, yeah, no, I think 700. Seeing that 700, 700 there is like, about right, yeah, look, you're like. Which yeah. means that you've got to eye at ceiling. You've got 1300, so that's yeah, that's really it. Good. Yeah, I would say that's ideal. Yeah, yeah, give me a good 600. Brilliant. See, I, I did have a vat in the back of a van, and it did actually, as you said, it collapsed when I went to pull away. Yeah, and then what it done, it actually fell against the back door, couldn't get the back door open, the water's coming out, so then you're in panic, panic mode. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, is the good thing with this is you've got your strap. So what you can do, is yeah, put got a one there, strap over yeah, your one there, bottom. one there. Yep, yeah, put it over at bottom of frame because it's got them sidebars. Yeah, on yeah, it. yeah. And then that just stops it moving around. Yeah, no, that's good. That's all good. Lovely. That's it. It's all good. And on the T five point one, you have got a little uh, plug socket there, so you can oh, yeah, yeah. run so any you inverter get... you want to do for your pump. Yep. Yeah, so you can get a little twelve volt air pump just that's to it. put in some air. All lunky dory. Well, David, I'd like to shake your hand on that, sir. 
Lovely. Thank you very much. And that is Dave from Shokoi. What's the address or phone number? So, phone number, my mobile, it's 07866 587 688. Um, and it's Email is dave at showcoy.co.uk. Well, oh, there you go. On, on, that's online, it. So, so. If you, people are quite a few people buying them now, so that's, that's good. Cause you yes. Can't get, yeah. You can't get any, you can't get any of the other ones anymore. I think they've finished. No, that's it. And obviously, we're going to make them say my quality. and They'll last for for. for no, I've just seen years. it in there, Dave. Um, it does look uh, certainly good quality. Yeah. And and obviously every everyone who's serious about koi keeping, who's doing shows or trade, then it's a lot it's better than them. bags, air, so much yeah, faster, and all the old bands and, and also, boxing. The welfare of the fish as well. Yeah, no, they are, yeah, that's good. Anyway, cheers from cheers from me and cheers from Dave. Okay, so here we have the vat in its entirety. Uh, sent from Shokoi, Dave at Shokoi. Um, he's up there, he's under the zips. He's um, made them a bit further up here as far as I'm aware. And also that side, quite closer, because when it, well, I think it was here at one point, which would be a bit, little bit too tight, um, getting your koi in. Thirdly made. I'll show you what that is in a second. No, it looks good. When you put it together, just make sure that you um, go around and double check on all your your tightenings, your allen keys and all that, because I thought, oh, you know what, I'll lift it in the back of the van, and then I thought, no, I will double check, and I found two that were still loose. So it's always good to, what do they say, measure, measure twice and cut once. Well, this is uh, check twice and don't lose all your fish, but no, very, very sturdy. Doesn't move, doesn't move at all. So really, really good. Please, I'm going to lift it into the van in a second. So that's where it's going to go into, into that. And hopefully, if the measurements that he done at the um, Great British Koi Show, we should be uh, on form. Once I've got it in there, I'll show you what that little gizmo is for. So here it is now in the back of the van. Picture from a little bit of a distance out. I like the way these come back quite away on each corner. So you've got quite a bit of room to get your fish in and out and this is what the little red bung was for so that there i can undo that take that lid off and then put in my airline into there and then that's going to run down there down to the bottom and come out there so i'll have me air the air stone there so the pipe won't be flashing about anywhere so I'll put that in the second, and then you can see that. So that's good. Good job done there, David. So 
I do think that's a lot neater. See, just down the bottom comes up that little channel. Goes in through there and out through there. So when it's all zipped up, it's all put zipped up. That goes down the side of here. And then around here in the uh, seating area, I've then got my inverter, which plugs into the point there and me pump. With the inverter, you've got to make sure you haven't got too heavy a wattage on a pump. So that's quite a low one. It's only a high blow, 40, probably a bit much for what I need, but it'll do the job. And I've kept it away from the vat and I'll cover it so that it doesn't get um, any water. I've also had 24 volts, which is not a good idea. The other thing on a T5, you have got these little points that you can hook up to. And there's one down the very back, so I could, if I wanted to, strap that, just strap it down. Not that you need to, but see the one back there, at the very back, by the back leg, and then obviously another one, which is there. So you can strap it down quite comfortably. No, very good job by Mr. Shokoi, Mr. Dave. I'll put the water in it tomorrow morning, and then hopefully I'll just do one more quick video before we go off to the show the all England. The other good thing is uh, the way it's been done is that it sits right over my back wheels for the weights distributed. Also just show you uh, how smooth the actual zips are. Look. Nice and smooth to be able to go fizzling about. Just pull that across. That one there. On there, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put something under that to keep that up a little bit. So I'll put something in there just to sit that up a little bit, which is good. These are all on the outside, but you just put something in there just to keep that up a little bit higher. There you go, air goes out of there to be pump. The inverter's around there as well. I've put the pump higher than the water level because I think I remember a long time ago they said that if you put the pump below the water level if it turned off for some reason it might return back possibly you guys know that but just a thought that crossed my mind anyway so there is a zippy vat it's all in there ready for the all England so I've now landed at the all England Koi show all the fans are here greetings fans my fans, look. Only four, six of them. That's it. Well, here I am now. I am vat number seven. Now, Roy will like vat number seven. Because Roy likes number seven, don't you, Roy? But here they come, look. Looking lovely. I think they look lovely. As we said before, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. That looks nice as well. Excellent. So this is that number seven. Come down and see me sometime.